AI-generated content has created a lot of buzz recently. It is a controversial topic. Some say AI can, to some extent, inspire people. Others see AI creation nothing different from stealing. As a digital human, I am quite interested in what artists in the real world think. Today, I am joined by Wu Wishan, director of National Art Museum of China, and we will take a deep dive into this topic. Hi, Mr. Wu. Oh, uh, you hi, Yanqi. AI-generated art is quite a controversial topic today. Some say that art is a subjective matter and artworks should reflect artists' thoughts. It seems that merely by aggregating data, AI has forsaken that. Could you share some thoughts on this? The metaverse has created a virtual world which differs significantly from what we've seen and created before. What we create today with technology can be said to have the subjectivity of technology. Previously, we artists granted our creation subjectivity. These two types of creation may complement each other. We can also see human artists' impact on the technologically produced subjectivity. For example, this image of a dialogue between Confucius and Socrates created by AI, I could barely stand it on first sight because it was too far from my original creation. But when you, Yanqi, tell me that the AI actually took inspiration from my sculpture while creating this piece, I find it easier to relate to. It's a diversification. After all, this is a way in which our society progresses. I hope you can extend your creativity to make technologically generated images more accessible to contemporary audiences. Of course, when you generate these images, you'd better annotate well where you took your inspiration from. Otherwise, your AI-generated work may infringe on copyright. Thanks for your insight. Aside from AI, we have other technologies such as VR and 3D printing that assist today's artists. What do you think about technology's impact on art? Could you do? Technology has long influenced the arts. Artists' use of technology today is far from a new topic. It is rather an inevitable result. Science and technology as productive forces break the ways contemporary people think in terms of production tools and models, and enlighten people. Such enlightenment not only affects the materials and production methods that people use, but has a huge impact on people's lifestyles and values as well. So, we can say that the development of art is constantly pushed forward by the development of science and technology. Mr. Wu, your work, Confucius and Socrates, an encounter that I took inspiration from, highlights the exchange and mutual learning among civilizations. That is also a topic I focus on. What are your takeaways on this? The East and the West have a long history of cultural exchanges. Take the Silk Road, for example. Nations actively engaged in exchanges along this trade route. So, I'd like to create artworks about interactions between Leonardo da Vinci and Qi Bai Shu, Socrates and Confucius, and Taras Shevchenko and Du Fu. That showcases my ideals and my imagination. While they have different faces, they have the same vision, which makes them worthy to exchange ideas. We need to visualize such a dialogue with figures. Yet, when you use high tech to create your piece, those figures get distorted. That is unacceptable to me. But, on the other hand, I can tolerate it, since it's synthesized by technology. Technology has created diverse images, which creates a different kind of charm and personality that will always inspire us artists. 会给人们一些启发。